I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Soundless Mound. This is a really cool looking Doom mod that was actually made for uh, Joel from Vine Sauce's second Doom mod competition. And fun fact, this um, film grain and like super low res effect destroys my performance so bad I have to record in 30 frames per second. But Doom was originally like, it was something ridiculous, like 32 frames per second or something. It was like, a, it was an odd number. It, it's great, but we're just gonna play it on normal. So it's obviously, as you can tell from the music, extremely Silent Hill. It's basically Silent Hill in Doom. So I don't know. I, I haven't, I just kind of re-downloaded. I usually play in Chocolate Doom, and I, this is not for that. Chocolate Doom is, you know, it's a pun on vanilla, right? Uh, it's the most, it's the simplest way you know, the closest way you can get to playing Doom as, you know, with an actual, like, 386 with DOS. So, I really like that. Um, I downloaded GZ Doom, and I basically, I remapped the controls, and that's about it. Um, so I don't... I don't know if there's any recommended settings for this, but I just kind of downloaded it. Oh, and it looks so good. The, the pixely dithering and stuff looks so cool. It's got this great, like, PS1 kind of look to it. Uh... Why is it blocked away for some reason? Oh! Alright, the use key is spacebar. I was pressing E. It's spacebar in Doom. I should... You know, it's fine. Oh, you know. <laughs> it's no longer... Wow. I was not expecting Tim Allen to, to grace the stream. But... Or not stream. Oh, well, that's some... I don't think you can... Can you see that? I don't know if that's happening for you. I don't... I'm getting some very major um, vertical retrace issues. Oh, there's so many options in this. Do you know how many options there were in the original Doom? There was like four. Ah, OpenGL. Where is like uh, VSync? VSync. Uh, sprite billboard. You know, I don't know what a lot of these are. I, I just play I just play chocolate doom. I'm 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 a fussy old man and I like I like doom the way it's supposed to be. How do I rendering quality speed menu blur? Guess how do I I just need to put VSync on Weapon Bob View Bob I hate View Bob. I think this is just like the regular I think Doom just kinda inherently has that, but no how do I Tap Tap fusses with GZ Doom options for 10 hours. The animated series. Um, vertical sync. Okay, there we go. That's okay. It's the only option fussing we're gonna do. All right. Is that a health drink? Yes, I love this. It's got the uh, Silent Hill sound. Ah. Oh. If you haven't played Silent Hill, this is a great start off to. Um, I think this is a bit short for us, the spooky stream, but this, this, we'll consider this our official kickoff of. Um, What's a mud butt? Uh, what a, a spooky month. Spooktober, yes. Got a little IV. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's a coat rack. With this low of resolution, it's kind of hard to tell an IV drip from a coat rack, you know? Uh, I think there's doors I missed then. Don't, you know, most of them probably won't. Can't get the door open. Don't you mean the lock is broken? I think you're forgetting some crucial lore that every single lock in Silent Hill is broken. It's not just that they don't budge. All right, you can probably read the. Oh yeah, you can't read these. I just pressed E. Like one of those kids playing Fortnite. Those brats were playing, playing the third floor again. I asked around if anyone opened up for them. Seems they must have gotten their hands on a spare key or something. I swear, if those damned kids break any of my stuff, they'll pay. They'll pay, Parker. I'm Batman. Hi, Parker. I'm playing a spooky game now, honey. Lock is rusted shut. Won't open. Silent Hill is in desperate need of some locksmiths. Ooh, knife! I'll just get that. Oh, that's a flashlight. Wait, what? Why did my why did my flashlight include a knife? That's spooky. Um, guys, how do I equip the knife? That's that's ominous, guys. I I can't. What do you mean? You got a knife? Was there an inventory? No. How do I? Guys, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared. Um, I said S U. How do I change guns? It's not. 
the, the numpad is the the numbers aren't working. There's terrifying noise. Look, look at that meat refrigerator. This is what I love about the original um, Silent Hill. Just the, the vagueness of the like the textures and everything really assists in the spooky feeling. There's got to be something I'm doing. There's got to be a way to use a knife, right? Okay, it's just a TV. Just turn off the TV. TV won't turn off. Okay. He's spooked. Lock is rusted shut. The scariest thing is that I can't figure out how to use the goddamn knife. Maybe it, like, only comes out in, in combat. Maybe there isn't combat and it's just, like, a puzzle game. But, I mean, it is Silent Hill. I do think... I think horror games with no... Co oh, God. That's... Okay, there's combat. Um, guys, I can't, I can't use my knife. What do I do? Okay. Um, God damn it. I, I promised we wouldn't do this, but weapon zoom, weapon state one. Okay, hold, I, I've got I've got the Z Doom topic over here. All right, Z, inventory management. Everything is handled through the inventory, including selecting weapons. But, but what's what's the fucking what inventory? There's no inventory button in Doom. Wait, wait, up arrow or no, 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 no. Oh shit! How do I undo that? Backspace to clear. I don't really use the turn keys. But what do you mean inventory? There's an inventory button? Crouch. What is this? What is all this blasphemy? There's run, there's turn, there's... Oh, what do you mean inventory? Activate item. Enter. Next item. Drop item. Next item to mouse wheel right. This... No, no, move! No. Oh, okay. I have a quick knife. How operate? How use knife? Sir, do you know how to use a knife? What do you mean use item? Oh! 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 Okay. All <laughs> oh, those sounds! Oh, that's good. Alright. So we have confirmed there is combat. Can't get this open. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. <laughs> The scariest thing is that I don't- The scariest part of the game is the GZ Doom options menu. It should be- Oh, it's like a specter- Oh, wait. I think it's just really dark here. I don't think they're actually specter- No. It's just really dark. That's awesome! Uh, I didn't know you could do this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do in GZ Doom. I didn't know you could do the, uh, like, whole screen filter effect stuff. Was this door open before? I didn't really check too many things. Alright, so we've- why is it? Hold on. Um, now that I know, why is why is the mouse wheel not? Uh, whatever. The controls are weird by default, by the way. Mouse wheel. Oh wait, mouse wheel right. Oh, okay. That, that that that's acceptable. But it's enter. Why is it enter? No, let's not make. Oh, I'm I'm breaking my rule. We were just gonna only open it once, but it should really be E. Something needs to be E. Enter is such a bad. Like I I can't activate item. No. I, I can't have both hands on, on the on the thing. Even though that's how many people have played the original Doom. What's the real terror? I'm I'm really tall. Uh, let me see, what's this? Look at this, makes me feel like someone's groping around in my skull. Gives me a weird feeling. <laughs> Game saved! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like, uh... Visually, it's obviously more Silent Hill 1. It's like a mix of Silent Hill 1 and Doom, like a Silent Hill 0.5, really. You know, a little bit lower than PlayStation uh, 1. But the it seems more inspired otherwise by uh, like the sounds and stuff very much. Guys, what? Where did my, oh, there we go. You gotta pull it up, I guess. Why is it mouse feel left and right instead of like just mouse wheel, like... In fact, I'm gonna- I'm sorry. Our shoulder, really. Mouse wheel up, or mouse wheel- wait. Next, what? wait. Oh wait, I, I've done a bad thing. Mouse wheel, okay. Wait, so weapons and inventory are different. This game just treats them as the same to make it feel more like Silent Hill, I guess. So that's the reason it's mouse wheel left and right, because like most games don't use inventory. Or most wads, whatever. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's not like a l next. God damn it! 
Definitely a game to play with stereo, um, or headphones or whatever. <laughs> I knew that was all. That's a classic. You get the on. Oh, that's, that's just like you find the uh, the flashlight. Ominous in uh, Half Life. It's kind of like Half Life Two or it's Half Life <laughs> Silent Hill Two. Um, doomified. I wonder if we'll find Eddie. Don't oh, budge, Kano. <laughs> I always wondered why like they don't just like make it kind of clear like in some games the door handle is missing uh, Which is <laughs> so ridiculous, but the door handle is missing from doors. You can't open so you don't waste your time And we didn't find we didn't find a uh, radio That's a shame. Maybe maybe later uh, Silent Hill has such good sounds so oh man, I really want to play Silent Hill um I need a PlayStation 2 though. I my I had a fat I got I sold my PlayStation 2 when I got a PS3 because I had the fat one that played the uh, you know played PS1 games. But uh, oh, I bet I can cut it open now. Um. Yeah. Um. But then the fat PS3, I got the yellow light of death because those things are kind of. I think the like. Oh no! How dare you disgrace! The home of Tim Allen. I actually don't like Tim Allen. Tim Allen is like, in real life, he's just as dumb as his character. It's kind of like, oh, oh, that's not really a character, is it? Oh no. How do I? Oh, you just, you just eat it with the space bar. I get it. Okay. That's kind of a shame, but you know. Well, I mean, did you really expect the guy who goes oh, to be like really amazingly brilliant? But yeah. Is there even a button for flashlight? There probably is, but like. Oh, you, you probably just like... Ah, I see. Okay. Alright, and now that I have it equipped, I think I can just... Yeah, I can just use the knife. I don't have to keep it centered on the knife. So I could use E now to, like, heal. I see. I, I, I get it now. Okay. It's a little weird, but... Also, that was a, that was a fence noise, but whatever. I need to get- I don't think they're that expensive, like, I could just get a used PS2. Um, I still have all my copies. I kept all my games. But, you know, I've never sold, um, a console and not regretted it. I got rid of- I gave away, actually, my retro consoles. It's like, oh, well, emulators do it better, so I don't want these. And then, like, they got really, um, they got really valuable. And I would just prefer to play, like, the real thing. I don't really- I don't find emulators as good, honestly. I mean, they're, they're nice in some ways, but like, I don't like the graphics options on them. I just want to play it like it looked, like it's supposed to look, you know? It's pure my head's gonna be in one of these rooms. Huh. Um. And yeah, that was that was dumb. I rebought a PS or a um, Nintendo 64, which. I'm not sure I actually had to do, I think the N64, I thought I sold it. Or I think I had two for some reason, I think. Uh, I forget exactly what happened there. But I, I knew I gave away, or yeah, I gave it away, one of them, and I, I rebought it to get, um. And I got a copy of Hey You Pikachu, which someday we're gonna stream. What a time to announce a Hey You Pikachu stream. But that game, I have a lot of good memories of it. It was like, it was a weird gimmick, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And I think it'd be really fun to stream with all of the confusion the game can cause and the, oh, no, Pikachu, don't do that. And so I thought that'd be a fun stream. Basement key, I can't, <laughs> I can barely see that that was a thing, but okay. I think maybe you're supposed to play this with mouse look, but I refuse. It, it seems like playable enough. I think the limited view really adds the, the, uh, no, to self-return basement key. Um, I think that adds to the thing. You know what's funny? Um, both Doom and Silent Hill both kind of have an auto map kind of thing. Um, as you play, you, like, you get, once you get a map, your character automatically marks on the thing. Oh my god, it's so small. Can you zoom? Oh, good. I don't know what he was doing there. Um. Oh, I'm the triangle. Okay. So I'm the triangle. So this means. Ooh. 
This means the red means that it's not a door. The red means it is Jape door. And I think the blue means it's a real door. Okay. And it's got the kind of colors of a uh, of a Silent Hill map rather than a Doom one. So that's neat. So many doors. The Z Doom forums, like, they look straight out of like 2006, by the way. I don't know what I expected, but. I should be. Mm. Oh! Gun! Key to room 103. Thumbs up with the guy from room 103. Last night we could hear loud noises coming from the third floor. What do you. That, but that's not room 103. Somebody reported seeing you carry around a crowbar. He went out today, so I asked the landlord for a key to his place. I have some investigations to do. Frickin'. Is that, uh. Henry Townsend? Henry Townsend or whatever? I forget the exact name. The, the Silent Hill 4 guy. Silent Hill 4 is a game that, like, a lot of people at the, at the time it released was like, oh, this isn't as good as, you know, most Silent Hill stuff. And then. Boy, boy howdy, did we not know what was coming. It's Silent Hill The Room. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite Silent Hill by any means. Um, my least favorite of the original four, really. But it's still really good. I still definitely put it up there. Um, as, uh, as a pretty great horror game. It's got some... It's ominous. Oh. Oh, it's just a light. Never mind. I mean, lights... Oh look, oh, you can even see it pop up in real time, that's neat. Is that a new sound? I heard like a fleshy, like, pustule noise. I don't like it. I don't know how long this is, unfortunately. I have no idea. This is like not the, the version that um, Joel probably played by now on stream. It says it's got some updates. Patch to work in 3.1, very small fixing. It still says it's a demo, so I don't know how complete it is either. Um, but it's a little bit more complete than the submission to the Doomwad contest, because I got, I downloaded it 10 minutes before I started this video. So, yeah. So many good horror games out there. I, Lone Survivor kind of gives me. I mean, Lone Survivor is meant to be kind of like a 2D Silent Hill, so of course it gives me. This gives me vibes to that too. Uh, I did a full playthrough of that. Uh, I don't have any Silent. Just like the stairwell in Silent Hill too. Uh, it basically is the apartment block. Oh, so the lock is broken. Really? Huh. I guess that's not the basement. This is probably the ground floor. The way Doom maps, like, Doom doesn't really... This just kind of puts it all on one flat thing. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know which way the basement is, but it looks like we're probably going to need a second part. Oh, that's ominous. When, you, when you're offered a save point in a survival horror game, you take it. You take that puppy, and there's only one save slot. I was like, well, there's auto save. It kind of auto saves for you, which is interesting. Mechanic, it's locked. The key to room. It's locked. I don't know if that's a different lock. I don't know if that's a different thing, but I, I think this is a good place to cut it off. Uh, we'll take a look later, we'll play more. I'm definitely gonna finish this. Um, just thought this would be a great way to start off Spooktober. And for those not familiar, Spooktober, um, every week, every weekend, um, usually at noon my time, we are gonna be streaming spooky games. Lots of Yumi Nikki inspired stuff this year. There's a whole bunch that I wanted to play uh, in 2006 when I first played Yumi Nikki, but I couldn't get it to work. So we're gonna get to a lot of that now. I got dot flow working. I couldn't get Yumi Tuki working. So if anybody knows what the deal is with that, I couldn't get installed RTP. Um, if anybody has some some pro tips on that, let me know. 
Uh, it sounds like it's not really the best Yumi Nikki fan game. I got some really good recommendations for other stuff like Ao Oni, uh, Yumi Graffiti, Dot Flow, I think is um, possibly considered the best or one of the best ones. It's got its own story. And so just kind of random stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll get to those this, this month. And until next time, I bid you adieu.